Ramapo took on Kinelon in the round of 16 on Thursday night at Ice Vault and Wayne. The first period was even with both goalies stopping every shot. It was a physical game on both sides. And the first period ended with the score 0-0. Zero to zero. Ramapo broke through early in the second period when Dan Thompson scored. So we were coming in the zone, Riley got a good bounce. He took the puck in and he saw me just right uh, back door against, uh, next to the goalie and I just put it home. It was right there. 24 seconds later, Kinelon's Brian Cruiser struck back. Ramapo responded quickly, making it 2 to 1. Uh, uh, Caswell was coming up the ice on the right hand side. He was driving hard and beat his man. He drove all the way down, and I just drove straight to the net. And he made a nice centering pass, and I got a stick on him. He went right by the goalie. But Brian Goud skates in and puts one past Boomhead. And now, you know, we score to go up and they come right back. Ryan Bucci-Grossi had a misunderstanding with Jeremy Rosenberg of Kinnon. But the referees decide there's nothing to see here. Kinelon takes the lead early in the third period with Kyle Verblau putting it past Boomhauer. But with just under six minutes left in the game, freshman Sean Johnson ties it up. I got the puck. Went in, it was a two on one, the defenseman went to Butchie, so I just shot it, five four, and it went in. Both sides had chances in overtime, but neither could break the other team's goal. Dan Thompson got the number one assignment in the shootout. I actually got it from uh, Andre Kopitar, the uh, Los Angeles Kings. I love that player. And uh, I just come in wide on the goalie, make a quick move to the other side and uh, get him down on his knees and try to roof it. Boomhauer stops the Kinelon shot, but struggles to get up. Dan Collins scores in the fourth spot for Ramapo. for the shot top left and um, he took that away I didn't have any shots there so I just I deep left and went right and I had the whole right side open so I just slid it in past him. Brian Cruiser scores on Boomhauer to keep Kinelon's hopes alive. Kinelon's fifth shooter must score on an injured Boomhauer or it's all over. It is all over. Oh man. 
I knew they had a couple kids who were danglers, so they would come in with some nice moves. And uh, I just tried to get out far and challenge them, not give them any net. So they had to make a move, and I just tried to be patient, wait for them to make something, and then just try to react to that, get in front of it. I say it every day, it's the coolest game on earth. It is fantastic. There's nothing better.